very interesting not interesting it's a very funny not funny update um regarding the kyle rittenhouse situation um yeah man my my um my video that i posted about it reacting to the news um got a lot of interesting feedback right and um for the most part it got absolutely damn voted to hell or what no it got um what's it what's the thing called thumbs down to hell right people did not smash that like they smashed the opposite of the like on that video but regardless of that i think the comments were really constructive which is nice to see a lot of people kind of i think saw or kind of understood via my first video regarding the car return situation that i was only reacting based on the information i had at that time and mostly based on the information that i was given or that i listened to via the mainstream media right unfortunately i kind of got looped into that and kind of got sucked into that orb and didn't really read up on what was going on and really kind of delve in deeply into it and once i did man oh man did i get it wrong man oh man did i get it wrong and this isn't a retraction or a correction it's just more sort of an update to say that hey i got the first bit i got the first video completely wrong um this idea that somehow he was this neo-nazi that went down to um this area in kenosha to go and you know set the black people straight and spray bullets indiscriminately into crowds and kill many people wasn't true um he obviously went there with some good intentions and unfortunately as does happen in these riots um things just spiraled out of control and before he knew it, he was having to defend himself against a mob so whatever the narrative they were trying to spin on the mainstream media to try and make him seem one way isn't necessarily true and what makes it really difficult as well to kind of to kind of um digest is that it seems like looking at it especially from my my experience of kind of dealing with this online and just reading the story it seems like from the outside looking in especially being a uk guy it seems like the media in the us are purposely causing division amongst the population they're purposely stoking this fire they're purposely making it an us v them situation right um which is really bad because you can you'd, you'd think especially now with covid that there'd be a little bit more of a collective spirit right a bit of like hey let's let's um stop pointing fingers at each other let's stop trying to blame our neighbors for our ills let's stop trying to turn this into a race war and maybe try and unite right so that we can come out of this the other side right because they don't have healthcare in the us right people are having to pay out of pocket for this sort of stuff so there's already loads of issues i saw videos of people in certain states queuing up at food banks people that had you know people that weren't necessarily desolate are now having to go to food banks or to kind of feed their children stimulus checks are running out people are not going to be able to get benefits like people haven't paid rent in months like it's a really um really really bleak situation in america for the most part right people are suffering like suffering for real so to come to this so to be in that position and then to have the media purposely um you know omit some story some bits of the story in order to kind of service narrative in order to get people angry in order to cause division is just heinous beyond belief and i really don't know what the solution is and i don't know what they're trying to do because if this is a, if this was their op if this was their way of trying to get people to wake up not to vote for trump it's going to have the opposite effect i think i think if anything this um these riots and um and this vigilantism and people going you know arming themselves and going to protect their local community because they feel like they have no other option is definitely going to um is definitely going to make trump a more viable candidate for re-election as opposed to the opposite i think right for the most part most sensible people be like you know what the, re the place is already on fire the last thing we need is an entire new regime to come in we might as well just stick with this guy for the most part and let him you know re and you know let him kind of reinstate law and order as he keeps writing on all caps on twitter and again i don't think trump's dealing with it right i think he is kind of this hands-off approach where he's kind of allowing the country to burn isn't the right way to go about it yes maybe the governors are to blame in the in respective states but jesus christ the media are not helping the situation are they they're not helping at all they purposely made this car written house look like some white nationalist right that went there to purposely go and cause damage when that wasn't the fact at all and um car written house lawyers released a statement basically um talking about such basically outlining exactly what happened i'll read it to you now so it says here, this is from the National Review, Kyle Rittenhouse lawyers released a statement. It says, after Kyle finished his work that day as a community lifeguard in Kenosha, 
he was already there, by the way. So they made it seem like you cross state lines, you cross state lines, he's already there. He went to help clean up some old damage, some damage. So he and a friend went to a public high school to remove graffiti by rioters. Later in the day, they received information about a call uh, for help from a local business owner whose downtown Kenosha auto dealership was largely destroyed by a mob of violence. And you already seen the videos, right? Um, car lots completely engulfed in flames next day everything is you know a flipping shard and burnt to the ground and it just you know written off completely right like people's businesses like the life you know the blood sweat and tears or something that they've kind of brought up and especially during these times i imagine you probably hasn't sold that many cars during covid and you're completely burning it it's just not on the business owner needed help to protect his what he, what he had left of his life work including two nearby mechanic shop car and a friend armed themselves with rifles due to the deadly violence gripping kenosha and many other cities and headed to the business premises the weapons were in wisconsin and never crossed state lines again something they didn't point out in the media right they made it seem like oh he crossed state lines he wasn't even from there he was there with a friend it's a local it is his local community if your friend lives there that is as much your community as, as, it, as it is his um the only thing i'm guessing they're going to be able to charge him on or to get they're going to be picky about is maybe the misdemeanor of him being a under 18 and having a rifle right that might be something that he's probably going to get caught up on but it's idea that he went there to go and murder um black lives matter protesters is ridiculous if you actually look at what actually happened upon arrival car and others stood guard at the mechanic shop across the auto shop dealership to prevent further damage or destruction late that night subsequent uh substantially uh substantially after the city's 8 p.m curfew expired without consequence the police finally started to attempt to disperse a crowd a group of writers in doing so they maneuvered a mass of individuals down the street towards the auto shops Kyle and the others on the premises were very uh, verbally threatened and taunted multiple times as writers passed by but Kyle never reacted his intent was not to incite violence but to simply deter the property damage after the crowd passed the premises uh Carl believed the threat of violence had passed. He became increasingly concerned with the injured protesters and bystanders congregated in a nearby gas station with no immediate access to medical assistance to help the law enforcement. Carl headed in that direction with first aid kit, right, to go and help them out. And I think there's another video that's shared that's, that basically alleges that the violence started because the protesters came by the auto body shop and I guess they were trying to push a bin that was on fire towards the auto body shop to kind of light up, I'm guessing. And then he had a fire extinguisher and he put out the fire. And I guess that sort of started the altercation, supposedly. I'm not sure that's true. Um, Carl, so he saw out to inj he saw uh, he saw our injured persons rendered aid and tried to guide people to others who could assist to the extent he could so uh, amid the chaos but the final time car returned to the gas station and confirmed there was no more injured individuals who need assistance police had advanced their formation and blocked what would have been his path back to the mechanic shop Carl then complied with the police instructions not to go back there car returned to the gas station so he kind of which i guess what happened he kind of got split up from his group basically due to the police incompetence car returned to the gas station until he learned of a he, he learned of a need of help protect a second mechanic shop further down the street where property the destruction was imminent with no police nearby as car proceeded towards the second mechanic shop he was accosted by multiple rioters who recognized that he had been attempted to protect a business mob wanted to destroy the outraged uh he just outraged the rioters and created a mob now determined to hurt kyle they began chasing him down kyle attempted to get away he could not do so quickly upon the sound of the gunshot behind him kyle turned and was immediately faced with an attacker lunging towards him reaching for his rifle he reacted instantly and justifiably with his weapon to protect himself firing and striking the attacker Kyle stopped to ensure care to the wounded attacker but faced a growing mob gesturing towards him he realized he needed to flee for his safety and his survival another attacker struck Kyle from behind as he fled down the street Kyle turned as a mob pressed in on him and fell to the ground one attacker kicked Kyle on the ground while he was on the ground um, yet another uh, bashed him over the head of a skateboard several rioters tried to disarm Kyle in a fear for his life and concerned with the crowd would either continue to shoot him or use his weapon against him Kyle had no choice but to fire multiple rounds towards him and attackers striking and two including one armed attacker and the rest of them all began to disperse upon hearing additional gunshots so that paints a completely different picture to what you heard in the media and especially what i reacted to in the first video and it makes you wonder why they decided to charge him with murder in the first place when it was clear it was self-defense i think they've changed the the, the actual um charges I'm sure it's not first degree murder, but the way they were trying to paint it in the media was that it was just that, right? He was alone. He was kind of your um, college shooter, right? Gone rogue, right? Who kind of went to go and put these Black Lives Matter, set these Black Lives Matter protesters straight. That wasn't the case. 
he was tr- obviously he w- he went there to go and help right to local community um that oh i kind of have a problem with that i think you should obviously leave that that kind of policing of the neighborhood to the actual police i think of course in certain states um depending on where they lean um pl- depending on where they are on the political spectrum it seems like they're using this opportunity as a way to kind of put the middle finger up to trump if you're a blue state you kind of want to take your kind of foot off the pedal and not have the police really lay the law and really kind of maintain law and order and stop anybody from looting protesting is fine but the looting is what's kind of destroying um all of these neighborhood all these communities and i don't know man i just think it's just a it's just an unfortunate situation because regardless of what happens this kid's life is effectively being ruined I, I don't think you can kind of i don't know if a kid that's never killed somebody is finally going to be okay because it was self-defense right in the midst of a riot i think once you're alone with your own thoughts kind of recounting the situation you're going to regret some of your actions in some respects again he's only protecting himself i'm sure of that but <coughs> a kid's life's been ruined two families have you know had people past regardless of what you think of what they did in their prior lives because i think people are now labeling them as you know child molesters and whatever it may be due to their past crimes but you know it's just unfortunate that they're losing their lives in this sort of instance and again it's just going to cause more and more division as we've seen with the other story in portland with somebody else shooting a supposed trump supporter that's not really been on the news too much i've been keeping an eye on it but you don't really see anybody kind of you know labeling that person as a uh pro as a anti-trump person right because i guess the person that died was a pro-trump person it's just a really really divisive and kind of um bad time i guess in america because the media aren't helping things the guy in the white house ain't helping things either trump because he sees this as an opportunity maybe to kind of um i wouldn't say guarantee re-election but to definitely give the elect the people voting to pose a question really right what do you want do you really want kamala harris and joe biden to step in in the midst of all this going on can you really trust their administration to kind of you know put this put a kind of you know deal with this in the right way maybe come out of harris maybe um considering you know the amount of people that she's locked up over her time but i don't know you can't if you're if you're a conservative can you really trust the democrats to really deal with this in a good way i don't think you can um and again i don't think you can categorically go out there and say car and house wasn't defending himself because he clearly was you see the original video and you see um again i don't know what the law is in america i don't know just because you've got a gun in your hand and somebody tries to punch you can you shoot them that seems a bit weird again he wasn't trying to shoot him the guy was trying to lunge for his gun and shoot him over the head with a plastic bag you don't have the bag had bricks in it but the kind of self-defense rules i'm not sure what you know what they can kind of pick apart there but he didn't cross state lines um the gun was his friends he was obviously there because the videos of him cleaning up graffiti so he was obviously there to go and help out the community and unfortunately you know as it is with riots things just got out of hand which is why i think by and large people shouldn't be going to regardless if your friend lives there or not you shouldn't be going um armed to go and protect your local businesses unless it's your own business you should only go and protect what is actually yours i think going out there and trying to render support um to other businesses in your community is only going to end this way whether it's going to end in you fatally wounding somebody or you getting fatally wounded yourself because you know both sides you know both sides will have guns uh, for sure most conservatives will have guns more so because you know they're probably more pro guns but in general putting yourself in harm's way for somebody else's business just isn't worth it it really isn't you know everyone's life is ruined just what because of what because of a bloody dumpster fire or something whatever that started the whole beef in the first place it's just so it was just so avoidable man it really was but again the narrative that the media tried to sell about this car in house guy isn't true man isn't true whatsoever now they're leaking people are leaking videos of this kid getting to fight in school and hitting a girl what what does that mean does that just it's the same way that you can't say the kill the guy that he killed in the petrol station who might have been a um you know who might have had some dubious crimes of his in the past that somehow that justifies him dying in at the hands of a teenager you know in the midst of a riot that doesn't justify either same way you can't say it just, you know um Kyrie Nash, um should be in jail because he punched a girl in the back of her head one time during high school that isn't fair either um i just wish we could deal with these things fairly and kind of judge them as they are but unfortunately the the climate at the moment is not what it is so yeah let me know what you think man like 
do you again this is the right car in house's lawyer statement and um, whether or not that is actually what happened do you believe the story do you think car in is going to get strung up um you know will the charges change and if he walks what happens then will there be a thought will there be another riot because he ends up walking because they tried to charge him with something that he actually didn't do he actually def legitimately was defending himself if you actually look at the breakdown of the video see what actually had led up to the actual altercation it did look like he was defending himself right um you know everyone involved in the altercation with him was trying to reach for his gun one person even had a gun themselves so what is he meant to do um and we've seen enough videos of people getting kicked in the head and you know completely unconscious and stomped to the ground i'm sure somebody holding a gun and looking the way that car in houses does there was no way that was going to end well anyway if he didn't shoot them back and try to fight them that one's going to end well for him he was definitely going to get curb stomped and knocked unconscious and maybe even beaten to death do you know what i mean there's no knowing how far that would have gone because he had a gun he represents everything the left hates um yeah unfortunate situation regards let me know what you think in the comments man let me know if you think in comments but i thought i'd provide an update there and don't be afraid to let me know your thoughts and opinions i'm not really that fussed if it gets down bird and stuff i'd rather be wrong and correct my opinion as it goes on um i'm just learning about this stuff again i'm, I'm from the uk i don't know anything that goes on in the us i'm only listening and reading what i see on the internet and then having to piece stuff together you know um and try and come to some sort of uh rational view or reasoned view about what's actually going on there without being a little bit too knee-jerk and reacting to stuff that the you know the lamestream media is putting out for lack of a better term so yeah let me know in the comments down below what you think of that update